Hello, this is Bored, and welcome to Stay at Home. In this episode, we will be... Can you flip the screen on this? No, you can't. But we <laughs> you learn new things every day. In this episode of Stay at Home, uh, with Tyrannosaurus Tiger, also known as Bored, uh, we'll be building the space station. Uh, I thought it would go nicely with my... Uh, my space shuttle up there and you know i haven't built lego in quite a number of years so i just thought i uh, hey i'll take you all on the ride so <laughs> let's see how this goes i realize i'm not looking directly at the camera so sorry about that all right so here's the box 16 plus uh you know very complicated, maybe a bit too complicated for my eight-year-old brain. Got some nice blue. That's a Lego Ideas. You always know Lego Ideas is usually like a pretty cool set. Here's the back. Uh, don't have the best lighting in here, unfortunately. Uh, but alas, it looks pretty cool. Uh, anything on the side? It's no space station. Anything on that side? No. Uh, there is an exclusive brick right there. Um, and yeah, let's just open her up. I did pre uh, take off the tape. So, yeah, we got our. Uh, it looks like five cans. So, we got our, our one, our two, our three. Four, and five, you probably can't hear any of this because it's so loud, and a six, and of course our instructions. Oh, it's a nice thick manual for not too much. Got a nice piece here, let's get the quick flick through. No, oh yeah, they got some, some nice information about it. Wow, that's kind of cool. So we got the fan designer as well, and some among other things. That's actually really cool. 10th anniversary of Lego Ideas. This set's like probably a couple months old now, but uh, I suppose the first thing to do is to open up bag one, knoll it, and uh, follow the instructions. So I'll see you guys in just a second after I've knolled this. All right, so there we go. We got the first pack all organized out and uh, what is known as knolling. This just makes me look crazy in self-isolation. But I found these like super tiny, like astronauts. I didn't know they would be this big. Can I get it to focus a bit better? Like, look at that. How cool is that? Anyway, let's get on. With, if I grab the instructions way over here, the first, uh, the first kind of section of the instructions, which is, let's see, oh, the first bag makes two satellites, the uh, shuttle. And the astronauts and whatever this little thing is. Maybe the dragon. This makes the stand. The main module. Something else. <laughs> and something else. And then six is like the heat sink and solar panels. So let's go on and get on with this first bag. Oh, I love that first step is to not do anything. Uh, but. I'll do the first step on camera and then and then we'll uh, do like a speed up or something like that. All right. So we got one, two, three, four. So the first step there is to just attach it like so and then chuck that on top. And there we go. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Just kidding. Let's do a 
bit of a time lapse, I think. That is step one. We have this fandy dandy little space shuttle and two very nice looking satellites. Um, yeah, and then we got our astronauts over here and uh, a little capsule. I don't know if that's meant to be the Soyuz or the Dragon. There's probably a bit of information in here about that. But anyway, now. Uh, we'll move on to step two, and we actually got a decent amount of spare pieces there. Step two is the base. Uh, so let's continue with the knolling and the time lapse. See you in just a sec. Just remember that I didn't show you the knolling, so there's a better look. I've all of course already started, but let's let's uh, get right back into it. It is a black piece, so it's probably pretty hard to see, but let's do it anyway. <laughs> That's bag two done. Only three pieces left in this one. Got a nice little pile over there next to all my Star Wars stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's crack out bag number three, give it a roll, and then give it a build. Probably straight after this time, I reckon. So I'll see you after that. <laughs> Bag three done, on to bag four, let's get it. <music> There we have it, that was bag four down. Add, we added this um kind of, I don't know how to how to say it, heat sink uh, radiators, I think they are, maybe? I think so, or just solar panels. And I've had a bit of a play around uh, <laughs> with some of the stuff and the satellites down here. It looks pretty nice on the stand already. I'm not sure about this choice to have the panels faced that way rather than that way. Uh, it's probably how they are in, on the real ship, on the space station, I should say. Um, but yeah, it's looking rather good. Up next, that's what it's meant to look like. Uh, I don't know what we're adding there, just more modules. Um, so let's get into that. Thank you. 
as you can see with bag five down this is looking mighty good i even have the special attached dang this is <laughs> this will look so cool when it's finished it's perhaps like a bit unstable even on this stand but only one bag left and it doesn't seem like a big bag but it looks to have some like it really satisfying pieces. Oh, I'll skip to the end there. Yeah, there's like not that many pages left. Wow. Yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. Cool, let's jump into it. I was going to just like go straight into the build but I just wanted to like show you like how satisfying this null thing is you know just gotta just gotta fix it up oh, it's just so good it's like few components but a lot of components it's all of the same thing and it just like looks cool but anyway let's get into the build eight of these I think that's all this this one is so let's get it going <laughs> Let's do the final little bit of putting this together, together. Uh, so here we got the big beastie boy that doesn't even fit, fit in. But without looking at the instructions, it looks like... If we just move that out of the way, we just push one in and push the other one in. And then we can rotate these or we can rotate the whole thing. And then on the other side, oh, this is going to be hard to do whilst holding this. Gonna chuck that in. Hush. Should have done this one first, realistically. Just wiggle that in. Oh, there goes uh, the space shuttle. Oops. Everything's dropping off. Where did that go? Furthest away. All right. There's that side done. Now to the other side. It might be better if I just hold this vertically. All right. There's that one. I wonder if it's any easier doing opposite corners. There we are. Is this one? Oh, it's really difficult to get this in frame. And there's the last one. Now I'm hoping if I pick this up, we can see it in all its glory. Oh, it looks so good. I'm gonna chuck this on the stand and we'll do our final thoughts. All right. So there it is on the stand. You can see it's now night time. Uh, oh, it's getting there. And this is looking very nice. 
and it takes up a very good size and I'm sure it'll look good next to that space shuttle. Um, yeah, so for $99, I think this is a good set. For bag six alone, that was a joy to work with. Um, but this is incredible. Um, so, so that's all for now. I won't delve into like a full, full review, uh, but it's cool. I would recommend. Um, but for now, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. If you really loved it, make sure to subscribe. Some videos will pop up in the bottom left and the bottom right. And you can subscribe by clicking the middle. You don't even have to click the red button. Um, yeah, if you want more LEGO videos, tell me. But that's all for now. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.